Hello everybody, I haven't seen you for a long time. I'm going to do um, just something for my granddaughters for a picture to go on the wall. Uh, I'm going to do another canvas. This time I'm going to put, do it in pinks. Not quite sure how I'm going to do it. I don't know if it's just going to be a, a pour and then see what happens or a picture. I, I don't know. So I'm just going to put on here this white uh, acrylic paint. It's so runny for some reason. It's just uh, Brunel Franklin Artist acrylic paint. I got this from um, B and M. Yeah, B and M sticker. But um, I don't know if you can get it wherever you are. If you're not watching in the UK, but that's all I'm going to be using. I've only got a little brush. Just going to brush it on. This is just basically for me. It's just I. I think this seals the canvas a bit better. I don't know if it does. I've just watched other people do their, their stuff and they seem to do this. They seem to always uh, give it a coat of acrylic paint. And you have to let this dry before you can do anything else. So while this is drying, I will probably try uh, doing some resin up. Right, I can make sure I get all down the sides. I have um, put my... Uh, oh, if I'm going to start a video, I should know what I'm going to say, shouldn't I? Um, <laughs> my bubble tool. Um, level, that's the one. <laughs> I have put my level on there. It might not be that level now, so I will double check it again afterwards when the paint's dry. That is, um, I have taped the bottom this time. That's just um, the fo uh, the frog tape stuff. Um, just get that in the DIY shops. Um, I was going to put latex on and then I decided not to. I'm going to have to come around this side because I can't see around that way. I hope you've all been keeping well. I want to do a favour for my next door neighbour he's got like a, a van that he's made into a camper van thing and he wanted blackout blinds and uh, he went and bought the material and he's, he's done the template and everything and I've come in and started um, started measuring it all out and cutting it out and pinning it got me sewing machine out <laughs> thought uh, this funny noise I thought what on earth is that noise I don't like them pots underneath they're stretching it take them out I'm just gonna take a chance like this um if I put you back in view have have I yeah um yeah the the belt had gone on it oh it is my <coughs> excuse me <coughs> it was my mum's old sewing machine and my dear old mum passed away in 76. <laughs> so it's quite a few years old. <laughs> so I've ordered uh, another belt. I just got my fingers tightly crossed that it fits. Because <laughs> if it doesn't, it's going to be hand sewing. And I'm not a lover of hand sewing that now. I used to do it. I used to make all the soft furnishings as a job. Um, I've made curtains, I've made blinds, um, I've, I've done all sorts, I've, I've had a dabble at tailoring, uh, but this, oh, I just, there's something about resin that I love, so 
don't know why, but there is. There's a bleeding dog here in there already, look. And that she's got rid of her hair. I'm surprised she's got any left, and she's only a little thin cunt. Right, okay, so leave that to dry. So I shall come back once this is dry, and then we just go from there and see what happens. I said, I don't know how I'm doing it, I'm going to do pinks. Um, maybe a bit of white, black, don't know, don't know, don't know how I'm doing it yet. I've got to think on that one. <laughs> this is me, jump feet first and then try and think. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Bye. Hello, I'm back again. It's all dry, hang on a minute. Oh. Right. I've took my mask off, even though I've used it whilst I've been mixing up. I can't talk to you with that on, so I've took it off. Right, okay. And these are the colours I'm going to do. I've got Magic Gold. These are just what I bought off Amazon. And that is going to have Enchanted Gold Glitter. I got that from uh, the range. The next one is just going to have a white. I just another set I just bought off of Amazon and the glitter yet again from the range I'm gonna have this pink there's absolutely no name to it at all so it's just pink and I'm gonna put a little bit of pink horses in it and then this one is light pink another set these are all sets I bought from Amazon basically when it comes to the Nikas so that's off with Amazon and another set of the white horses then there's another pink no name to it and that's gonna have like little flowers starry flowers then I'm gonna have a peach red and I'm not sure if that's a purple or if that's a pink to be quite honest but it's going in and I'm in two minds whether to give them any of these and these pots I buy at the range as well I love the range it's a brilliant shop so each pot that I've got here has got around about 20 grams of resin already mixed up so this really is um, a tester because I've done the I don't know if you've seen it I've done the, the shore, shore um, picture and I've done the, the grass with the flowers and the birds this one I'm not quite sure how I'm actually going to do it in my head I'm saying do a ring pour do a ring pour, do a ring pour let it gradually spread out and then spread it out but then I'm sitting there thinking do lines so I think I'm gonna, just going to do the lines and things and just mix it all in that way what shall I do ah, I know what I'll do I might do a pour in the middle and then lines through it yeah right okay so pour in the middle what am I going to do pour in the middle let's do this pink or purple whatever it is okay so I'm just going to take my scoop uh, I'll use this one because it's powder you don't have to worry so much about the 10% because it's not going to mix the um, ratio up of uh, the one to one for the resin. The resin I've been I've used this time is text per text palette, something like that. Um, that's twelve half a gallon. Sorry, um, it's pretty good. I like it because it came in some gloves and it came in two of these little pots and. 
you know, very, very good in that respect. Okay, so uh, what glitter shall I put in there? Uh, no, I'm not going to put glitter in. I'm just going to, oh, here we go. Sandra's making a mess already. Okay, so that's going to be the middle. And I'm going to have white, I think, with it. Um, if I run out of resin, I'll just have to make some because what I made up is in these pots. So, my white. If I'm, all, uh, if I'm not completely in shot, am I? I'm sorry. I've got this new thingy and I'm just not quite used to it. <laughs> okay, so, oh, oh, poop. Used the wrong stick, never mind. These are what I just use for putting my bits in, not for stirring. Never mind. Okay. So that's my white. Even though this is a one-to-one -one ratio when it comes to mixing it, it's quite a thick resin. So in one respect, I actually like it. Okay, so that's going to be the middle. So that's that one out of the way. Right, okay. Uh, peach red. I wasn't going to put anything in it, was I? So you can go over there. I don't know why I got out so many sticks. <laughs> trying to be all organised and I end up getting extra stuff out. Never um, mind. Oh, I know. I know why. Okay, so that's that one. That is the peach red. If you can see that. The light's not very good in here. I'm sorry. Um, that's the peach red. Then I'm going to do this pink, whatever pink this is, and stick some in there, I can't really bother to measure it out, <laughs> just stick it in, um, and then I was going to put some of these in, so, I don't know how many to put in really, I hate these little bags. Can't get into them properly. And then they split on you. Oh, great. Right, so with this, yeah, stuck to me cloth. <laughs> I'm just gonna use about, oh. <laughs> use about that much. <laughs> Shove it in. <laughs> Get the escapees, get them in there. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm going to use any more than that. <laughs> oh look, another escapee. <laughs> oh, I tell you. Bleeding useless I am. Um, yeah. So, I shall mix that one in. <laughs> Got the giggles now. Okay, so that will work out like that. Just little flowers in it. You can see me and without having to make more resin up. I don't think I've made enough. Right, the next one is light pink. Get in there and get a dollop. Okay. And let's have a go with these, see if I chuck these everywhere. Because they're all new bags, I've never opened them and they're just sticking to my glove. Do you know what, I'm not even going to bowl with a spoon. I'm just going to pour. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have just poured. <laughs> oh, 
couple more. Oh, there you go. There's a few more than a couple more, but here you go. You can go in there and all. Oh, it sounds horrible. <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> but that's what it's going to look like. Oh, I can see me making up my loads more resin. <laughs> right, next pot is the very light pink. Put some of that in there. And some more little horses. These are pink ones. Oh. oh geez. Right, that was good then. Nearly there, nearly ready to do a bit of pouring. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this might be done in two sessions. And then... I've done some white, didn't I? So that was having the glitter in it. I didn't put glitter in it, did I? No, I didn't. There you go, see? So this is the Enchant... No, because it says Enchantment Gold, but it's not. It's the... It's another glitter that I got off of Amazon and I didn't have anything to put it in. I bought two packets, so I thought, right, they're going into it. that one. It's, so it's not what it says on the pot. So I told a porky earlier, I do, uh, do apologise. <coughs> okay, so that's the glitter in with the white. It makes it look a bit grey with all the glitter. And if you can see... I don't know if you can see that. I've got all my lights on, so sorry if you can't. Right, next one is my magic gold. Oops, not that end. Oops, not that stick. It fit in the owl. This one's really nice. I like this one. I do like this gut, this gold. And I'm putting in Enchanted Gold. That is the Enchanted Gold. I love this gold as well, this, this glitter. If you're looking for glitters, the range do some really nice stuff. And that's the gold. I am really rubbish at trying to show you things in this camera. <laughs> it's because I keep swapping from my phone to my tablet, from my phone to my tablet. Right, get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. Make sure they're out of the way. Okay, so let's have a bit of the pink. I'm going to pour this one. I put my hand there, I'm not in the way, I might know. Okay, so I'm going to pour a bit of that one. Then a bit of the white, because I want some of the white to go, well, silver. <laughs> it is a silvery white, because I want it to go across as well. I'm so tempted to carry on pouring a ring pour like this, you know. So I'm doing a few more in the middle. 
I have not got a clue, I've not got this mapped out in my head or anything. So I have not got a clue what this is going to turn out like at all. No, that's not going to work with them ones. So all the ones that are like this can. If it's the flower, let me do and the posters. Okay, so these are all little flowers, these are flower petals. Okay, and then we're going to bring some of it out, we bring the petals out. This is really winging it, people. I have not really got a clue what I'm doing. And to be quite honest, I think these uh, horses and that are a bit too big. Um, let's do... Uh, yeah, they're all, all sort of like hanging together, aren't they? doesn't work with these ones very well so note to self don't really use them like this they ain't gonna work as I said this is just a little little thing for my daughter to put on the wall for the kids grandkids so it's just Mishmash, <laughs> in a sense. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I keep getting stuck. I've managed to get, I've pushed everything back so I don't touch the resin with my clothing and I've still managed to get it on there somehow. Uh, let's do this on the outside. Sort of follow the pattern. Horses have also got lost in the mica. This wasn't worth it. Oh well, no for future. <laughs> Just at the bottom. <laughs> oh well, I can place them a little bit now. <laughs> If they come off the stick, oh god!
ripping over my work you one's gone okay so with this one I think I've got the flowers in this one yeah I have oh. I'm going to she says move out the way move out the way please Can out and just I don't know, just sort of play with it and get it to sort of like move a little bit. And I said, This is quite a thick resin, which I'm quite surprised about. So, if I can, I'll sort of drag it. Don't mind if it drips the sides because I will. Clean that up somehow. You know, I'm not bothered if it does go over the sides in a sense, I'd rather it did. But I don't think I've got enough uh, resin for it to do that completely. So, that's that one. Going down the side. Let's come across this way a little bit more. I do. Okay. That one. So now I've just got these four left. Right. So I'm going to a bit of gold on the outside here. Gold on the outside here. And if I can, I want to do a circle here. I'm going to do the dark pink. I've got more resin than I thought actually. Go across there. Down. Oh. Ooh, you're not supposed to do that.
Oh Lord, it's just dripping everywhere, stupid stuff. <laughs> I blame the resin, not me. Well, I always try to make sure I get as much as I can out the pot. It's easier to clean. Also, resin is too neatly expensive to just waste. But if I do have anything left over, which I won't today, but if I do, then I usually get my little moulds out and uh, do my little animals or or anything like that, little flowers. Um, I do a lot of uh, the little flowers and everything and I give them to my daughter because she makes bows and she puts them on the bows. She does bows for the kids, for babies, um, even for animals. Yeah, so that's that one. Now I want this one to finish off around here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around that edge of this one, if I can, I don't know how much I'm going to get away with, like framing it in a sense. getting a little dribble. <laughs> Come on, keep dribbling. Thank you. <laughs> don't think that made any difference. <laughs> and then with my whites that I've got, what's left, I, do you know what, I wondered what that was then. Here, it's them horses. <laughs> What's that sticking up in the air? There you go. And with this one, I'm just going to go around here. I don't think I'm going to have enough to push it out. And I've got no. There you go. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> so I'll tell you what I'll do. So I've got some left. Just get in the middle. There you go. Apart from the fact that I've got lumps galore of them horses, really, I don't know if I've got my head in the way, sorry if I have, I need to sort of like separate a little bit so you can actually see the horses. It's not going to work is it? They're just sort of stuck together. Well, 
Anyway, what I'm going to do now is cheekily pickle this off the floor and just shove it down the sides. on this side. Some need a thin layer on it really. Just to, just to seal it all up. Right, I should do the back now. Top, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if that's everything. You run away this end. <laughs> oh, sorry. Give me a bash. Right, this is going to be a pain in the bum because it's all sticking to the floor. Because I didn't like those pots. They were making a dent in it. But there you go. That's it done. Hope you enjoyed watching that. Watching me, uh, muck up left right and centre <laughs> so I'm quite happy with that actually I think my daughter I think will like it hopefully the grandkids will so thank you very much for watching obviously it's just going to dry like that there's nothing going to be done with it um, the only thing I might do is flood it with a top coat other than that it is as it is and that's it actually when it's dry, well, where have they gone? I've got some butterflies. I might put a butterfly in the middle. If I do do that, I will show you. But if I don't, then I just leave it exactly as it is. It's happily running away, doing as it, doing what it wants to do. I'm just seeing what happens. Okay. Actually, no. I'm terrible, aren't I? I'm going to bring these back in a bit more. Just the lines. Just so you can see the lines a bit more. Like this. Swirl. There you go, it's not big enough swirl. There you go, that would do. It might be too big a swirl now. <laughs> but there you go, that's it. Not doing no more to it. It's going to sit there and it's going to dry. So take care, everybody, and I will see you very soon. Hopefully, if I. I can. <laughs> Sorry, getting lost again. Right, bye.